Hey y'all, it's me. So I'm gonna turn it around. The sun is going down. It's really pretty and anyway, hang on. I think looking at the sunset is much, much better than looking at me. So um, anyway, I just wanna talk briefly about the Idaho 4, that case and what is going on with Dylan, the, one of the surviving roommates. Um, I feel like this kid gets a lot of flack. Um, and while I understand people questioning, well, why didn't she call sooner? Like, I get that. What I don't understand is people just hating on her, right? Because she was a victim too. She's a young girl. She was terrified. But it's not enough, right, for people just to accept that or to question, well, why didn't she call sooner? They want to make her culpable in the crime, right? She, they, she's like, she's, she's got to be in on it, right? There, it's a drug deal going wrong or imply that she and her friends were, you know, cleaning up the scene and all this garbage. And I just, what is wrong with people? Like, seriously, what the F is wrong with you guys? And I don't mean you guys like the people who watch me because I know that the people who watch me are compassionate people and they may have questions, but they're not the type of people that are going to try to destroy this young woman who is most likely traumatized, who is going to be a pivotal witness when this goes to trial. I'm just so sick. I think true crime on YouTube is one of the worst things that has ever happened. I really do. Because there's, a, there's only a handful of true crime people that you can trust, that stick to the facts, and who don't try to insert themselves into the crime scene, right? And try to make it all about themselves and their harebrained theories. You know, armchair detective being one of them. Look at how he slandered Nicole. And I really, really hope that more and more people sue because there needs to be consequences. You cannot, you shouldn't be able to get online and say, well, so-and-so is a murderer without a shred of evidence, without any proof and slander someone in such a horrible way. And you know, I understand that Ethan's sister-in-law, one of the Idaho four kids that got murdered, you know, has come forth and said that, you know, it's critical of Dylan. I get it, I get it. You know, maybe if, if I was in their position, I would be critical too. I know that Kaylee's parents and sister have said, you know, they understand, she's young, she was terrified. So again, there's a difference between being critical and just trying to destroy someone. And I just, empathy is just lacking when it comes to this online BS, it really is. I, I just don't understand that mentality and how we are unable to put ourselves in someone's shoes. And the fact of the matter is, unless you've been in her circumstances, don't you dare get on here and say, well, I would have done this or that, because you don't know. You do not know until you're in that circumstance, right? Anyway, I'm getting fired up getting fired up, man. I'm just sick of people. I really am. Here's the thing. I do believe that, you know, when we interact with each other offline, I think it's a whole different ball game. But I think when it comes to the online, online realm, sometimes people hide behind their usernames. You know, there's no picture. There's no one to associate with that person. Seriously. Seriously. That's so unnecessary. Anyway, that is so not unnecessary. Like seriously, it's noise, noise pollution. Um, but you know, there's no one really. You know, some people just hide behind their username and they just use their platforms to spread hate. And they're just nasty people. End of story, right? And I also want to say happy birthday, Val. I love you very much. You are a rock star in my mind. So. Anyway, until next time, y'all, be well.